This is gonna look odd with a scarf around my neck. I'm kind of too dressy for it. No? All right. I usually don't sit. <laughs> Uh, 94.3 WYBC, you're on broadcasting live from the Elephant in the Room Boxing Club, and I have Devon Kennedy, former world boxing champion. How you doing? I'm doing good, pretty good, thank you. Tell us about the club, you well, can take all the time. Well, the Boxing Club, this is a non-profit boxing gym here to serve boys and girls alike. We have very knowledgeable coaches that are going to coach these kids. We started at 2.30, we're going to be here to 6.30 this evening. Our ribbon cutting's at 4.00. So, if, so if people, if you get a chance, come by and check out this beautiful facility. Uh, this is this is a monument here for our city right now, okay? So get on down here. I'm Juan Castillo. Thank you so much. Thank Devon, you for having for me, all that Juan. you do. Broadcasting live from the Elephant in the Room Boxing Club, 746 Orchard Street. I am right here in Dixwell, baby. It's 94.3 WYBC. I was really excited when I first got there because like, I didn't know what to expect. But then Gary was like, okay, go put on gloves and get in the ring. Huh? Ain't nobody tell me this. I did not sign no papers for this. Once I got in the ring, me nagging and being a big baby, it went off the door. These are students from the Metropolitan School. And this is what we are teaching them. How to defend themselves and how to evade being hit, and then while evading it, then you run away. <laughs> that day was so fun for me. Like, I'm so glad I went and I was there for the fun and I had fair for me. That basically told me you officially have a place to go to after school on that day where you're stressed out, and it does relieve some stress for me. It takes my mind off a lot of things. I am so looking forward to starting at the gym. It's an exciting moment, especially because it's not too far from the house. It's, and walking distance from me, I don't mind walking. Next week, I do plan starting here. And it was this exciting moment. It's like I never had like opportunities like this before. This is and uh, self-discipline. So these are our two favorite students, Emily and Zanetta. Give them another round of applause. You gotta take a picture for a New Haven Independent. Put your fist up too, so he just... Uh. Thank you so we weren't much. looking. That's oh, that's better. a good picture. It's good when you That's a good picture. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. day at the grand opening when Nina and I got to our house we were talking about how we loved being in the ring so much she's like she's like I don't know about you but when I stepped in that ring it was like something totally completely different I was like I felt the same way I felt like so comfortable being in that ring and she was like so excited about it we were just sitting there talking about how the whole day went and how we were glad that we actually attended the grand opening Welcome back to Oxygen Sports. I'm John Neighbor with Cassandra Henderson at the Boxing World Championships. And now the bout we've all been waiting for. The heavyweight athletes at 198 pounds enter the ring, and the United States has its only hope for a gold medal at these World Championships. They rest on the shoulders of Devon Kennedy, a 30-year-old American out of New Haven, Connecticut. The boxing has opened so many doors for me. Devon Devon. Personal things that made me aware that I can do anything. We can do anything we put our minds to, no matter what the obstacles are. Maria Kovacs, at 20 years of age, is 10 years her junior. Here comes Canada. Uh, Here it comes. Here it comes. Going to the head from Devon. Maria coming back with a jab. Devon pushing her back with her jab. 
I had no role model, per se, someone to look at and say, okay, it's okay for little girls to box. The official breaks them apart now. So I just sort of put it in the back of my mind, continue to pursue school and college. I didn't, it didn't really come back to the forefront until I was in my mid-20s, so several years later. And that signals the end of the heavyweight bout. The world champion will be announced momentarily. Let's listen the to the champion. score. At 90 kilograms, 198 pounds, for the first 2001 Women's World Boxing Championships. And the blue corner, Devon Kenny from the United States of America. Let's have to get Maria Kovac from Hungary. A big round of applause. The points were 15 to 22. And a very big final scoring round. Devon Kennedy wins the world title. 22 to 15. America's only gold medal in the tournament goes to the last bout of the tournament. Currently, we have a boxing program that we've just started in two schools here in Connecticut. And the, the programs are going very well. They're going very well. The classes have doubled in the last couple of weeks. So we're very excited about that. Hey. Hey, guys. What's going on? I hope you guys are training hard, ready for your boxing match with me. OK. We're going to do it right now. <laughs> Emily and Zanetta, they're, they're, they're two special kids. Some of the challenges that, you know, some of the kids go through, they really bring that to forefront. I don't really know a whole lot about Emily, but I know Zanetta is going through and has some issues. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Next! My name is Zanetta Langley. I'll tell you up, up. My desire to start boxing comes from just having a lot of stress built up and a lot of pain and not having a way of letting it out. Um, when I was given the opportunity to box, I felt it would be a good way to relieve all that stress and pain instead of holding it in and hurting myself or going out and hurting others. That's where my desire to box comes from. Now, um, like, I have a bigger passion for it. I feel, I feel at home when I'm boxing. From day one until now, my passion has just grown more and more and more. I just, there's things at home that I live with on a daily basis that kind of throw me off and um, makes me lose focus. And like, I just got tired of dealing with the stuff. I'm the type of person where if I want it, I'll go get it. I don't know, I feel like I've always been to myself. I've always done things because I set the goals for myself. It's just with boxing, if you're not on a team, it's just you and yourself and your thoughts. Like you're independent and you have to focus. I really enjoy it, it's so fun to me. Go. My BFF at my school is Zanetta. We've been best friends since seventh grade. Now we're graduating from the same high school. She says that there's always people telling her that she can't do what she wants to do. She can't, she won't ever accomplish anything. I'm like, Zanetta, who are they to tell you that? Only you can determine your future. <laughs> It has bothered her a lot. I know she started giving up on herself. I know she did, because she's not the person she used to be. Don't take it out on me. 
Well, it's easy for me to develop relationships with kids. Um, I'm really good with kids. I am hoping that it gives them um, a sense of empowerment. I have a lot of feelings about Zanetta. Um, I feel like uh, she had a lot of the potential. And, um, but I could tell that there was something going on beneath the surface with her. She, you know, came in and she has this little attitude and little chip on her shoulder and she would train and she shines. You know, it's like she's letting it all out there. And if you can focus on boxing, it'll make you focus more in school. It'll make, it'll help you when you go out in the world um, to have confidence, whether you're applying for a job. You know, what, no matter what you can do, boxing just does extraordinary things. So I think that this will do wonders for them. When I was around 17, I started watching some fights. I would go over to like, like my uncle's house and um, I looked and I was like, okay, I think I could do that. And, you know, one day when I was working at Burger King, it was almost like, it just happened. It was like coincidental. Um, these two guys were arguing, but like just playing around. And he was like, you don't want none of this. And he, um, he put up his, uh, his work shirt and it had ring one boxing up there. And um, that week I went down there and it was kind of like off from there. You know, I, I was only training twice a week at first and all of a sudden I just really got into it. I ended up quitting my job to, to box. So that's how I um, initially met up with Devon. And um, it's funny because that was in the year 2000. Here we are 12 years later and I'm coaching for her at her gym. So that's kind of cool. Oh my gosh. Y'all are showing off today. I hate push Nice. Give you guys, you know, decide to take this more on a more serious level beyond what we do in school. Because you know we're only we're very limited as to what we can do here. Mm -hmm. I heard you saying that you would you thought we'd be able to like do more contact. Mm -hmm. But for, you know, insurance and legal reasons, like you hit her in her eye, we'd be in trouble. You know what I'm saying? She got a black eye, they'd be talking about get out of here, you know. <laughs> so but if you want to do it on a more serious level, the gym is definitely the place to do it, but it will require you to be dedicated. You know, this is the program at the school, you come after school, but the gym is going to require you to be there, to be there on time, uh, make sure you do give it 100% every time, you know? All right. Bye, honey. Thank you again. I'm going to get some gloves and help you guys do this. What I'm doing at work matters. I've been at the hospital for 17 years. So that's a long time. You know, you're responsible for someone's child and that child happened to be a newborn. And it's very, very, um, one of those situations where there's no room yeah. for error. He doesn't like that word. Hey, got it. Yeah. Power. Yeah. I know, right? Mm -hmm. And I, w I always feel like I need to be able to walk away and say, I did everything I could do to save that person. You know, I can't take full credit for it, but as a team, we're able to save a lot of those babies. My gratification comes from once they go home. You know, to separate myself from it, I have to um, be able to, otherwise I will be sad a lot, you know? It might sound a little odd, but you can't like get emotional attached. You know what I'm saying? So I have to be able to say, do it, separate myself. Otherwise I'll be one very depressed person, you know? I feel bad still, but you know, it's, it's not easy. Let me say that, it's not easy.
What? Two of you hit, 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 hit. You don't know what's coming, so just hit and get away. Go. You will see me here. As soon as I strike, you will hit me. Go. Alright, take a break. I needed one. <laughs> I'm not tired. I'm not doing nothing today. Because you were complaining about you were thirsty last period. Zanetta, she's a very fun person. She's very outgoing and she's actually a very good friend to me. Like I know I can I know I can go to her when I need her for anything. Emily, she kind of plays the role not only like my best friend, but the person that I can turn to without a doubt. You wait, you hear when there's something like bother me. I know that I can turn to her. She's like my support system. Let's go. Come on. Let's go to the living room. Get a blanket, please. <laughs> you see me? I'm like, okay, where's the blanket set? Do you want my laptop or something? Are you ready? Let the unpoofiness begin. I'm scared. I haven't done this in how many years? <laughs> Wait, because you know that. I was going to ask you if you want to come to the gym with me. Oh, you're going there to box? Um, most likely. But my mom gave me a check to pay for it. It's wow. Well, after my internship, of course. But I don't know if you just want to meet me there. It doesn't matter. If you want to, then sure. If you want me to. It doesn't matter if you have something to do. Never mind. I have shit talking to do. I don't have a life. <laughs> I do, but I I'm just know. I'm gonna talk to her some more, and you could talk to her. Who? Devon. Oh yeah, I gotta go. I'll probably walk over there with you, but I don't think I'll box tomorrow. Not tomorrow. No. Once I get everything set up, I'm just not ready. Like my excitement is still there. I'm, I'm very excited to start in the gym. It's just the whole process of getting there that's kind of a downfall for me, like, that I'm not too excited about. Not necessarily, like, physically getting there, but, like, getting the time to be able to go there. Like, it's not in a physical matter. I'm clear my schedule. Kind of dropping the less important things. And stop being lazy for one. What are the less important things to you, Zanetta? Mm. Less important things probably spending so much time with Cordell. Like, yeah, that's my boyfriend, but that can wait some time. And like just sitting around the house not doing anything, procrastinating on things. And mm, just like doing things that I can know that I know can wait, like going to the mall so often and stuff. Hmm. I think it would be fun going to the gym together because we're best friends, and I don't know, just some more things to talk about when we get older. Saying oh how we grew much stronger and wiser by going to the gym every week. I think it would be a great experience, actually. Don't you think? It's me time. It's f focus on me time. Yeah, exactly. Like, I need to start year. focusing on me and what I want to do with my life. I know you say you're going to work on it, and I believe you can, and I just want to let you know that if you ever need someone to give you that little boost of confidence to actually go to start your goal or 
continue it. You know, I'm always, always there. And you know I've always told you that. Right? Correct. Yes, so I know, actually, I believe you when you say you're going to try to set the um, le less important things aside mm -hmm. and to basically do you. Mm -hmm. Like, do the things you want to do in order to be successful and go to college and enjoy your life instead of worrying about what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. So, just want to let you know. That, that's all. I know, I know you can do it. Trust me. I'm working on it too. Me and my mom haven't been seen eye to eye as far as like me going to college. I think my mom is hiding the real reason why she kind of sets strict boundaries. But I think there's something else there that she's not telling me. And it's something I want to figure out. I'm not real, really um, worried about you because I feel that it will be a good experience for you to um, get a feel for what you really want to do in life. I mean, mm -hmm. sitting here at home doing nothing, you, you, I mean, have some type of experience of what's really out there. Uh, I trust your judgment and um, I hope you go into this with a positive mind as well. You know what to do, you know what not to do. And I just hope that you do well with whatever you decide on doing, whether it's going there or whether it's staying here and going to school. I've been hurt a lot in my life by people that were supposed to like care for me. And like I just try to make sure it doesn't happen. Like rather if you're a friend, a relative or anything, like there's always gonna be a guard up because like I've had family, friends, associates, people I don't know hurt me and I'm just tired of being hurt. Now her grades are not good. She won't be able to get into college until she completes a summer course. And she's starting, she's gonna start missing out on credit soon if she hasn't already. She's missing a lot of school though. Huh? A lot. I know. All of a sudden though. But that's what I'm saying. Like, how's she gonna finish her last year's school? What happened? Did you I tried to have a sit down with her today, but she didn't show up. Rumor has it that she's trying to stay back for because so she could be with a boyfriend. Who would do that, Tabby? You think really? I don't put nothing past nobody, especially a girl that is doting on her boyfriend that much. And she I just got with this guy. You know what I'm saying? She just got with this guy right around the time we started. It was in October. Mm -hmm. She got with this guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying it's a bad dude. I don't know him from nothing. But what I am saying, you also not encouraging her to stay in school, to come to this gym like she was supposed, supposed to. She's been lying to Emily mm -hmm. all the time. All I know is she's just... She's going downhill. Yeah. She has all this opportunity. But, that, well, that, but that's what I'm saying, Tabby, is some big change happening. No, I, I always think there's a root to it. Expect, you know, that she's not pregnant or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. You have a, a closer, more of a... Not real. She hasn't been in... She hasn't been in boxing. She hasn't been there. She has not been there. Emily gave me Zanetta's phone number when she was here last time. She needs to be spoken to, no doubt about it, from people who care. But this is the thing that I was saying too, though, Devon. She told me that she's not used to people caring about her, but honestly, it seems like she has a lot of people that care about her, and she's just using that as an excuse, and she's putting every, pushing everybody away. I don't think she knows any better because she wouldn't be doing it, but how is anybody supposed to reach out to her when she's not letting them? She's not letting them. How many sit-downs I was supposed to, how many times I was supposed to mm -hmm. talk to her already, and she either, she avoided it or just copped out? Yeah, she needs a phone call just to be like, look, what's what's going on? Like, I have. Yeah. I have. I was already out there talking to her, and that's the first sit-down we was going to have. She's, like, throwing her life away. You have her number? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to 
to make that. Zanetta, it's Devon. Um, I'm just reaching out to you. I'm a little bit concerned uh, about a few things, and I just mm -hmm. wanted the opportunity um, to talk to you, okay? Um, I need you to give me a call today um, so we can kind of figure out what's happening here. Um, this is, you know, uh, totally just someone who's concerned about you and your well-being. Um, and I, I just want to make sure you're okay. All right. So, um, call me back when you get this message. Okay. All righty. Bye-bye. Is uh, Miss Zanetta here today? She left. For what? Packing her clothes. She what? She's packing her clothes. She's going to Massachusetts too. For good? For winter break. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I planned on um, having a, a talk, a sit down with her today. But she's not here. Apparently, and she has to wash clothes. That's the reason why she's leaving early school. She couldn't do that after school. I, all I know is that you know it takes one to know one, and I know that she she has a hard time in life. And I try to reach out to her not only because I care, but because I wish I had somebody doing that for me, you know, growing up. And um, she's just not taking it. You know, she's um, I, I don't know what's lacking in her life, and I don't know her story. I know that there's some kind of rule, and it's all coming from somewhere. I just don't know where yet. I mean, I only have b bits and pieces. I have nothing coming from her mouth to tell me, so I, I don't know. Like, I mean, she well, told me we were supposed to have this sit down, and we and she was gonna talk to me and tell me things about her life, yeah. and um, it she didn't it didn't work that. out. She'll, I know she'll tell you about that, but like, you need to read between the lines. I know because I know she's not gonna tell me the whole truth. I mean, I was that age once too. Yeah, I don't really know what to think at this point. I just, I mean, I don't, I'm not giving up on her, but I definitely need to make this sit down sooner than later. You know, and I don't want to do it on the phone. I prefer to do face to face anyway. So, how do you go through your whole life going to school and then come the year you're about to graduate, just throw it all away? Well, yeah, like, I don't, there's nothing holding her back from doing that. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing holding her back, and this school year is—it's not. It goes by like this. You know, life goes by quick, and as you get older, it seems to just go by quicker. You know, and she doesn't, I just hope that she doesn't have to learn the hard way and then turn back around, yeah, you know, looking back with all these regrets, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know. Just make sure you let her know that we was here looking for her. I will. Sure enough, though. If she talks, okay? Well, I don't know. All right. Um, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Yesterday I asked her if she wanted to come to the gym with me. See if like you haven't gone yet. Experience your first day. And I'll be there with you. Mr. Do you know if Miss Patel is supposed to be in here? She's right here. Hi. Oh, there you are. Hi, how you doing? Good. Good. Looking for you. Here I am. Is Annette here today? Hi, how are you? No, she's not. She didn't seem excited to go. And I was wondering why. I was like, you don't have anything else to do. I don't know, I just, a bunch of questions popped in my mind and I just put that aside. Cause I didn't, at the moment, I didn't want to deal with it. I had my work to do in school today. Now just keep in mind, I just could be live track. Okay. okay, she's not judging you. She's just looking to you for information. All right. And Ev, yes. tell me again, you want to do like FBI work, right? Yes. Oh, you're going to be emailing people that you And where's he? Let me see. What? Where's 
she's not here today. She didn't come to school. When we get back next week, we're going to get back to working on our posters. And Kendra's got the opening. She hasn't told me how she feels about missing school and not going after school to the boxing practice, not even her feelings towards not going to the gym. Shadow box. Get in front of the mirror. Three, two round shadow box. You can do that. Knock the person's hand. Knock it that way. Mm -hmm. You know? Swap it down. Swap it down. Then they open. Bam. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, come. Huh. Yeah. 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 Without Zanetta being there. <laughs> Move to the side and you just come to it. And I'm taking this as the opportunity to focus on myself more and be more independent. I'm learning. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, why don't y'all take y'all laps? Because I don't know what to tell them. They taking too long. Uh huh. Here we go. Did y'all like take a shower, go shopping, eat dinner? She doesn't feel good. You got fever? I was trying to think of like a three girl theme song so we could all walk out to. And I'm like, sister, sister. I was thinking of like Powerpuff Girls, but I don't remember that. <laughs> Come follow me. So what's new in your world? Especially you. I'm something new gotta be going on. You don't think you're rushing things with Cordell? No, me and him, no. I can respect that. From an outside eye, I think you're rushing it. Y'all been together since we're October? Mm -hmm. It's fast. Moving fast. Mm -hmm. It's always like that in the beginning, though. We always all love in the beginning. What else has been going on with you? Take Cordell out of the picture for now. How's everything at home with your mom? I don't know. It's the same. See, you never put me up on what was going on. I mean, you were supposed to have that talk. So I can assume and put little pieces together, but I don't think it's really safe to assume. I think that mm -hmm. if you're willing, I'd like you to inform me or tell, talk to me about it instead of just letting me think well, what's going on with Zanetta or why, why isn't she going to school? Why isn't she in the gym even though she's right around the corner? Knowing that if I'm there, I could just pick you up. I could drop you off on there almost every day. I mean, like, enlighten me to what's going on in your world. I don't know where to start. I don't know. It's, I've just been through a lot since the day I was born. Me and you both, sister. And I just started giving up. I see no reason for me to can continue trying to do good when the people around me that were supposed to be there for me and love and accept me don't do what they're supposed to be. I don't feel like that I'm made to succeed in the world. Why? 
because I've been told that I'm not. And you've proved otherwise just in a couple months I've known you. Once you're told something so much, you start to believe it. No but matter how much that, there can be one person that says that you're capable of doing it, but when you're but 20 million there ain't just it. one. There ain't just one. That's I mean, true story. I get what you're saying. You know, you start telling yourself something over and over again, whether it's a lie, you eventually start believing it. There, or hearing somebody else in your ear saying it. And I get that, but I don't know, it's more than what you're telling and I'm not here to lecture you. I am here as somebody who cares about you. Mm. Last year, I don't even know if it was last year or well, not too long ago, I found out that when I was born, I was born HIV positive. And that's from my mother's past. She got it from her drug addiction sharing needles with people, all that other mess. And she didn't let me know until not, not too long ago. And I wasn't supposed to live past the age of one. And it's just all this stupid BS I've been through. Family not accepting me, my mom not. Are you now or are you, you clear? Mm -hmm. Are you clear? I don't mean to sound like this, but don't you think that's like a it is, <clears throat> that's a blessing? I, I mean, feel that, that I goes had to the show. Right to know before, sooner. Okay, I get that, but what, I, what I'm saying is, that's not enough for you to 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 know that you're meant for something bigger and better. That doesn't happen like that. That's like a once in a. a that's not. It's not. It's rare. You know. Now I believe that mind could cure. You know, mind over matter. I believe that. But how many people get clear to that? It's not a. You have to know that things. I mean, you don't. I don't know what your beliefs are. But one thing I know, I believe is things happen for a reason. You know, you sit there and you say, "Oh, you're not used to people caring about you." I get that. But there's three people in this room that care about you right now. You got to be kidding me. You have to be, you have to be. And I get that because that's your reality. So your reality at this point is like nobody cares about you. But it's another, there really is. People are reaching out there. Hands you, you got to grab it. You got to grab it. This one right here is loyal to you. Like you have no clue. She loves you. Isn't that all? I'm telling you. One day you're gonna look back and maybe get to see all this unfold and you're gonna see it. Cause she wouldn't tell me a damn thing. She wouldn't tell me nothing. She stuck by your side. Why did she school this, that? She ain't saying nothing. And it hurts her to know that you ain't taking her in healing. You know, you hold your arm up for so long it gets tired and it's still there. Devon cares about you. Gary cares about you. I'm telling you. Uh, that's, I mean, that's just from the people I know. I give up. I you, I, I don't think you give up. And I think deep down you know that you're not giving up. You didn't give up at birth. And you're still here. It ain't, you're, you're meant to be here, sweetheart. You're meant to do big things. But I could tell you that all I want. And I could tell you I care about you, and Emily could say she cares about you and love you, and everybody could tell you everything they want to hear, or that they think you want to hear, but you're not going to do it until you love yourself. And I'm telling you, I know you know that you're worth loving yourself. I don't think you know how to right now. And the more you start telling yourself that this young lady across from you cares about you, and that this old lady cares about you, and whoever else, the more you'll start believing it. I'll be here right here holding your hand. You got to call me up because you can't sleep, then you call me up. You need rides to the gym while I'm there? I got you. To let it out? Because it works. It works. Boxing works. Just consider it, please. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. I don't want you just saying yeah to say it. Just think about it. I will be calling you and from different numbers until you go back or pick up if you don't decide to pick up for me. I'm glad that you decided to let me in a bit. Don't close it on me. 
Don't close it. Cause I don't open doors, I kick through them. I bust through them. My jokes aren't working. <laughs> Good, there we go. That was a weak hug. I don't feel nothing. I don't feel nothing. <laughs> I'm floored by that, I really am. She, she was saying she felt, you know, not wanted. That's, that's gotta be awful. That's gotta be awful. But the thing is, it, it, it really brings to the forefront about how you don't know when people say, you don't know my struggle. You don't. You really don't. You don't know what people's struggles are. I wouldn't have never known that if she didn't say that. And one thing I remember about her when the class first started that she was really giddy. So I wouldn't have never known that she had these type of social issues, you know? You know, there's it's times like that when you hear these stories and some of these issues that these kids where reality really sets in. You know, this stuff is real. It's not made up. We're not gonna be able to save them all, but if we could just save one, it's all worth it. Stranger. Hey, honey, how are you? You guys working out today or what? You try it out? Where's your gym clothes? I that. Huh? I forgot to bring my clothes today. Yeah. You don't have yours either? Huh? I guess y'all got to run like 50 laps around the building. I'll run 50 laps around the building. No problem. We'll talk in a few minutes. Let me just go outside. You guys have a seat, all right? And I'll be back in a minute. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll get myself situated with school and stuff. It's just, I want to make sure like my schooling was handled first before I decided to do anything extra. But I'm glad I'm here because it's kind of like motivating me to come back and actually put forth more effort than what I've been doing lately and kind of make time within my schedule be able to be here like I want to. When are you going to come? I, I have, I honestly don't know. Like, I try to like, try to think of like times I'll be able to come home. Everybody. 
if you don't mind me asking, what are you getting out of it? You know, like this whole manager thing. What made you do that instead of coming here? I guess just the experience. It's something always like I wanted to do. Like, Cause I kind of, I don't know. Is what you want to do too? I know that's why I'm coming back. I'm making time in my schedule to actually come back. It's. I wouldn't be on you if I didn't. I understand. It's just. You see what I'm saying? Like I know it feels like God. She's in my ear. God, God, God. Yeah, and I'm not really trying to come off that way. I can't be a little persistent sometimes. But I just I think this is good for you. And Trust time. me, it was great for me. Follow your heart. I mean, I can't lie. I would like to, to see you here, but um, I know I don't want to sound selfish. It's not. Bad. It's not really sounding selfish. Put you first. That's how you gotta do it. All right. So you guys taking off? Yeah, I have a game to be too right now. Okay. Get my stuff first. All right. Yeah, your your bags are inside. All right. Well, you know where I'm at. If you need me, I'm here. You said you want to meet my boyfriend, right? Yeah. He's on his way from getting me. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's what I'm talking about. Get right on it. <laughs> I just requested it seconds ago, and she already on it. Huh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That'd be great. He said he's on his way. Oh, man, it's a car full. How are you? Good, nice to finally meet you. I saw you at the school the other day. Oh, yeah. During your basketball practice. All right. Well, I just wanted to say hello, introduce myself as one of um, Zanetta's friend and mentor, you know. You know, anybody that she cares for, I want to know who they are, you know. <laughs> so just wanted to say hello. Hi. How are you? You Cordell's mom. You're Cordell's mom. Yeah. I'm Devon. I just wanted to meet this young man. I heard a lot about him. Yeah. Okay. All right. He seems like a really nice gentleman. Yeah, he better be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. Well, you make sure you treat her good and be good to her. Okay? All right. Yeah, because this is my baby right here. All right, you too. I love you. I love you too. I'll see you. Okay? Right. Stay in touch with me. I will. All right. I'll call you later. Yep. Good luck on your game tonight. Nice meeting you. All right. I've learned a lot from this whole experience with boxing. I've learned that I can actually set my mind to something. And I don't mind doing things on my own. Regarding Zanetta, I think this experience has showed me that I don't want to say the truth, but it's all different now. It's been um, interesting, to say the least, as far as, you know, coaching. You go in there and expect to just, just coach you know, and help maybe improve some self-esteem or, you know, some discipline or whatever the case is. And then you, you form bonds with um, the kids that you end up meeting. And um, a little, you know, you get to, get to know um, some of them and part of their life. And you just want to, you want to, you want to help them see um, their potential and show them that there's more than what their experience is, whether at school or in home, there's just more to life than that. I think belief in yourself is critical. And sometimes somebody, somebody else's belief in you will give you the belief in yourself. 
to, to keep going. Sometimes it does take somebody else, but even if nobody else does, you have to believe in yourself. Because, you know, they say so seeing is believing, and I don't, I, I believe it's the opposite. I think believing, and believing is seeing. You know, if you believe, you're gonna see the results. She's there and not here. And I think Zanetta has a lot of potential. I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Maybe he's saying, hey, you know, you should be boxing. And maybe she just chooses not to, or I mean, or maybe he doesn't say it at all. I'm not sure, but I guess I could just be happy. I mean, if she's happy, I can do nothing but be happy for her. You know, um, if she's fooling herself though, I just hope, it, hope that she wakes up. Like step, step. So hopefully they just, you know, be smart. Love is love, you know, it is what it is. I just wish that she was here. Maybe that's a little selfish, but I don't care. I can only pray that Zanetta, Emily, the kids that are around us right now, all of us have taken at least that out of it and taken away knowing that, you know, people care about them. And we do believe in you. I don't know Cordell that well, but I feel like she's holding herself back from everything to keep him happy. And I just wish, I just wish, wish that she would just focus on herself more because she's a senior and he's only a junior. He has another year. So I know she's a very smart girl. I know from, I've known her for so long. I know she's a very smart girl. I hope she can pull herself together before the school year ends and graduate and get this last mark prepared with good grades and enjoy the college life. I don't, I don't, I just hope the best for her. I hope everything goes her way, the way she planned, planned it out to be. I hope she learned a lot from it too. I don't know, I worry about her sometimes. Well, a lot. It's just a lot on my plate right now, and I feel that I need to graduate first, and then I'll be able to go to the gym like I want to. As of right now, I feel, feel like going to the gym and trying to balance everything else in my life is kind of like a big no-no. It's not like I don't want to be at the gym, it's just like it's not working out right now. The future of schooling I'm going to, after I graduate from Metro, I'm going to Southern, studying psychology and um, criminal justice. And hopefully that'll lead me to where I want to be as far as career-wise. If not, then I'll continue to go to school so I can pursue the career that I would like. Today I didn't go to school because I had to stay home and help my mom or whatever with cleaning the house and getting laundry done and with the boys. So why was you in school today? Hmm? Why was you in school today? If she didn't okay. wake up to hit me, she didn't wake up and bring me to school. And I just figured stay home, clean the bathroom in my room now so I come to the game. But apparently that didn't happen. What I feel that I'm getting out of the relationship is I get to help someone that doesn't have the help that they need. Like, just like me, I needed help, support, love, whatever. And knowing his story, I feel that he needs that. Even though I feel that, like, I'm weak, I feel that he's weaker. And I feel like I need to be there to give my little bit of strength to help him. And I don't know. Um, 
um, I don't know, fine. Like, even though, like, we're just 17 or whatever, and this may not, like, work out for us to be, like, together forever, but I find, I feel like I found someone that accepts me, like, not just being, like, in love or whatever, but as a friend and whatever, I found some, like, he accepts me, like, flaws and all, like, my past, like, normally somebody will judge me on it or kind of blame me you say it's my fault like he doesn't do that he doesn't hold my past against me he accepts my past and leave it there i don't know i just found the reason to be happy again I don't know, I never had anyone to love me in any way, shape, or form. And it's kind of surreal. Is it just to play with my emotions or am I going to be hurt again or whatever? And I, I fear being alone. I never, that's one thing I never want to do. Like, I have people around me, but I don't really have no one there for me. And I don't know. I just don't want to be alone. Put you back in the dark. 